We're back again with another water resistance test. Here I have the iPhone SE third generation. This is the latest generation for the SE model and this is supposed to be IP67. On Apple's website, it is splash water and dust resistance, rated IP67, maximum depth of one meter, up to 30 minutes. We are almost at one minute. IP68 is the latest and strongest IP rating that is actually on any smartphone currently. And between IP67 and IP68, the difference is not too much. The device has been in water for approximately six minutes now, and it seems to be fine. Nothing is wrong with this iPhone SE third generation so far. I'm not sure if you know this, but you should not put your device inside any water that has chemicals, like going on the beach and going inside the ocean with salt water is going to damage your device faster than if it was inside a water like this tap water i certainly know what i am talking about because i had a samsung galaxy s9 that i went on the sea water and took pictures underwater it was sea salt water and a few hours later the device started to have some flickering on the screen and eventually the screen died and i never recovered the screen of that device the galaxy s9 and s9 plus have an ip rating 68 which is one level higher compared to the ip67 that we found on this iphone se third generation simply to say that you should avoid any water that has chemicals such as salt chlorine like seawater or diving in a pool with high concentration of chemicals also i always move the device around inside water to make sure that all the pressure are exerted on all part of the device to make the water resistance test accurate the device is very close to 30 minutes now we are almost done with the water resistance test. Just in case the device does have a black screen due to water damage, I'm going to take the screen of this device off and remove all the component and make sure that the device got dried before I reassemble anything and assess the device again. Okay, let's remove the device out of this water now and inspect the device for anything that may have been wrong after we have submerged this device for 30 minutes. The phone seems to be acting normally without any issues. The touch screen is responding normally also. The speed of execution of the processor A15 Bionic while I swap around also is in normal condition so it seems like the device is fine and there is nothing wrong at the moment also this is a recommendation in case you have a water damage with your device iphone or samsung or any other brand you need to take the screen off or the back off remove all the component make sure that everything get dry before you reinstall anything to test if the device has survived after submerging your device for any amount of time you need to expel all the water out of the speakers you can see the front speaker of this iphone se is full of water and water is getting out of the speaker slowly if you do not do this your speakers are going to sound very bad for a few days until all the water has evaporated this was the front speaker the front speaker is very critical because it is directly above the component of the device and if water does enter and pass the front speaker it may damage your motherboard and any other component that is nearby as you can see the bottom speaker also is full of water and you can see the water is getting out of the bottom speaker slowly you know that you have only one speaker on the right of this iphone se the other side does not have any speaker this is why we have water only on one side the iphone se third generation after the water resistance test seems to be fine i took all the action in order to expel all the water out of this device in order to make sure that the device will not have any problem in the near future okay just in case the device does have any issues i'm going to have a follow-up video in order to show you what steps you need to take in order to save your device if the water resistance has failed or if the water damage has occurred. The iPhone SE third generation like any other iPhone is a good device inside water but avoid all water that has chemicals as much as possible because it will destroy the double-sided tape that holds the screen and the frame together.